The name of this topic is dividing a polynomial by a monomial multivariate. So we're asked to divide this quantity by this quantity and simplify our answer as much as possible. Well, this problem will probably make more sense to you if we go ahead and write it in fraction form, since that's just another way to write dividing. Here's the first number in the quantity, and it's placed over the second number in the quantity. You'll have to remember before we go any further that this is asking us to divide this term by this, and this by this, and this by this. So it's almost as if we're doing three separate problems, which you'll see here. So we have negative 16 u x to the fifth. That's been recopied over here, the denominator also over here. The plus sign recopied here. Then we have this term, 36 u to the seventh x to the third, copied here, same denominator copied here, because we have to divide all of these. Subtraction sign copied here. 9u to the fourth x to the fifth copied here, and again the same denominator copied here. So now what we want to do is solve as much of this as we can, simplify as much as possible. Well the 16 over the 4, I can cross that out and make that 4 and 1, since this is dividing. If I have 1u here and 3 here, when I crossed out everything that matched up, I'd be left with u squared down on the bottom. If I have 5x's here and 2 here and I crossed off everything that matched up, I'm left with x to the third on the top. Okay, now let's work on this part. The 36 over 4 would be 9 u to the seventh over u to the third. When everything is crossed out that matches up, I'm left with four u's on the top, which you see that here. x to the third over x squared, when simplified, leaves us with one x. Since this one was all on the top, it's the same as putting this over one, so we just don't need to put that one on the bottom. Now we'll work on this piece. So 9 over 4, we really can't simplify that, so it just gets recopied here. There are 4 u's here, 3 here, that leaves us 1 on the top after we cross cancel everything that's alike. If there are 5 x's here and 2 here, when we cancel out everything that matches up, we're left with 3 here. So this will be the final answer to our problem. Okay, let's solve another one of these. So now we're asked to do this quantity divided by this quantity and simplify as much as possible. So since dividing and putting this in fraction form are the same thing, let's do that first. But we're, what we're going to end up doing is taking this term divided by this term and this term also divided by this term. So it's really going to be like two separate problems. So it will look like this. Once we break this apart, here was the first term divided by here was the second term. So now I'm going to write this over here, and the denominator will stay the same. The plus sign is recopied here. This term is copied here. Denominator stays the same. So now what I want to do is simplify each of these as separate problems as much as possible. Well, I know with 12 and 4, I can cross cancel that and make this a 1. So I'm left with negative 3, which you see here. If I crossed out all of the z's that matched up, these would all be gone because there's five of them. I'd have two left here, so z squared would remain on the top. If I crossed off all the y's that matched up, there are four here, five here, so I'd be left with one y also on the top. Since I have nothing left on the bottom, I can leave that off. Now let's do the same thing here. 36 over 4 can be simplified to 9 over 1. If I have one z here and five z's here, and I cross off everything that matched up, I'd be left with 
four of the z's down here on the bottom, which you see here. If I have one y here and four here, and I cross off everything that matched up, I'd be left with three y's at the bottom, which you see here. There's nothing left we can do, so we are done. So the answer is negative three z squared y plus nine over z to the fourth y third y to the third. And that is how you solve a polynomial divided by a monomial multivariate.